Hi. I want to read to you something that uh, I found amusing, to say the least. Government has moved to encourage production of electric vehicles by incentivizing importation of materials used for production of electric vehicles in Malawi. Government has also removed taxes on the importation of electric motor vehicles and electric vehicle charging equipment. <laughs> I'll leave the obvious problem for last. I'll start with where is the expertise for this stuff? Do we have the technicians who can service electric cars? Do we have the engineers who can put together these uh, electrical components and charging systems? Yeah, do we have the human capital, first of all? That's the first problem. Electric cars, they're not like the toy cars, the remote control cars that uh, we play with, huh? you actually have to service them still. It's not like you can just drive around and it will work by magic. You won't need to maintain it. Mm -hmm. Now for the obvious bit. How are we going to be charging electric vehicles when we don't have electricity to start with? <laughs> Only 10%. We have not even electrified <laughs> Do you realize only 10% of the country is on the national grid? Only 10% of the population is on the electricity grid. 90% have no electricity. But we're talking about electric cars. How? I want to point out another problem. Electric vehicles are relatively heavy. They're heavier than their combustion engine counterparts. You know what heavy cars do to badly laid roads, like the roads in Malawi? They wear them out fairly quickly. And you know what bad roads, the combination of bad roads and a heavy vehicle do to that vehicle's tires? They wear them out very quickly. Yeah, we're gonna need to be importing a lot more tires. With all these power cuts, you're going to need to be charging your electric vehicle using your diesel or petrol generator. No work done. You don't just skip steps towards industrialization. It's impossible. You can't just go from subsistence farming to flying cars without doing anything in between. It's not possible. It makes you wonder, though, if the goal is really to be more green to reduce the carbon footprint which we barely have in the first place but let's say that is the goal how come they've never made current vehicles which have very low emissions compared to older vehicles how come they've never made those ones duty free why is it now with the electric vehicles that we don't have the capacity to maintain or even charge at the moment why now but you know why they're really doing this right they want to give their friends tenders to supply and to construct these charging stations. That's what it really is.